think about that sunrise? It's good. Views are so amazing. It looks like it's fake, but it's not, y'all. Welcome on back to camp. And we are going to be doing some camp cooking today. OSG's amazing cinnamon rolls. Baked. How do you do that, you ask? She's going to show you. After we eat our delicious cinnamon rolls, we're going to be doing a little bit of wilderness foraging as well. See if we can find anything to eat that is not going to hurt us. And then anything that will help us here at camp. I'm going to enjoy a delicious cup of coffee right now. Enjoy this amazing sunrise. We'll get a fire going and we'll get to cooking. But you can see how they change different colors, right? From green to yellow, a little orangey, and then red. This is a good red one. It's so pretty. Ah. Who's ready for cinnamon rolls? Me! 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 Me. letting those coals burn down. And how we're gonna cook these is we're gonna be using a Dutch oven. I've got the Dutch oven that has the legs on the bottom. So you can put coals on the top and the bottom and that's what gives it that really good baking effect which is what we need when we're making these cinnamon rolls and other tasty treats out here in the woods. But I'm not gonna be putting them in the fire, directly in the fire today. I'm actually gonna hang them using a pot hanger. So this is just a little pot hanger that I've bushcrafted out here. Just put some little notches in there so I can adjust just the height on it and I can also adjust my uh, my rope. So when I hang it over the fire, uh, if it's too hot, you know, I can raise it up. If I need to put it just right over the coals, um, kind of like I'm doing now, I'm just letting the fire burn down a little bit. So I'll just lower that. And these little, little notches that I put in the stick just give me extra adjustability. We have the opus where we can put a flame underneath the pot, but it's really having the coals on top that makes a big difference. And honestly, I just like cooking by the fire. I love having, I love having that thing to sleep in, but I love bushcrafting. I love just hanging around camp, doing camp tasks. Something about it, man, just resets you. We only do these cinnamon rolls a few times a year. They are so decadent, so rich. Uh, you definitely feel it. Like you wanna take a nap after you eat them. Uh, so we, we only eat them like a few times a year. Special occasions like Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, basically holidays, um, the colder months, and then when we do these cold camping adventures. So you guys are here for a special day. Pot hanger ready? Let's do this. So to prep, what I did first is I, got a, I went ahead and got the liner. Now our liners are 20 inch, but we've made the fatal mistake of letting the liner come out of the Dutch oven and then it gets all ashy and chalky in there. So I just cut across and I put some butter on the bottom so that the cinnamon rolls won't stick. So that's what you're going to put the cinnamon rolls in. You can buy store bought, but what's the fun in that? Um, these are <laughs> OSGs. They are, but you know what? I, I do have a disclaimer first. They're gluten free and I've never done a gluten free. How dare free. you? <laughs> how dare you? I've never done a gluten free cinnamon roll, but oh, I, we'll see how they go. She makes stuff sometimes. That's gluten free, and she doesn't tell me until after. And I'm like, oh, that was really good. She's like, it was gluten free. I was like, really? <laughs> oh. And gluten free because you have uh, an allergy. Yeah. Gluten. You have Hashimoto's have disorder. Hashimoto's. Are a little crumbly. They are going to be more crumbly because they're gluten free. Mm -hmm. How dare you? But that's okay. I got all the icing. Icing can fix anything. So you actually prep these at home, froze them. Mm hmm. And uh, we kept them in our little freezer on, in the camper until last night. We put it on refrigeration mode. Mm -hmm. So they were slowly thawed out. It's, it's, it's all been working up to this point. It has. So that's basically all you got. And then we're warming up the icing right here. Because last year, I do remember that you, we kept our icing cold. And then we couldn't actually ice the cinnamon rolls. So. Well, we need it's to get best. some hot coals on it, too. So I guess we'll hang it first. Uh, yes. Yeah, let's hang it first and then we'll scoop some coals. Okay. I don't know, that's pretty... <laughs> How does that look? You tell me. 
months. That's going to be way too low. Yeah. Way too low. First time hanging a pot. It's heavy, guys. Why don't you raise the rope up? Let's see you do this. It's COSD camp craft right now. Out of, out of the kitchen and into the woods. That's scary. No, you got way too much slack in your rope. <laughs> what do you want me to do? That's as low as it goes. All right, here's how, here's how you do it. Remove the pot. You gotta get the rope adjusted. Okay. What, honey? Everything okay in here? Yeah. She's we gotta take really a pause from the, from really the crucial moment. Oh, yeah, a crucial moment of the movie. Has it already passed? It passed. I am eventually gonna get to this delicious cinnamon roll. Emmy wanted her to watch some scene from a movie that had a little sponge in it she thought was really funny and she was crying because mom wasn't there to watch you know toddler stuff if you don't know maybe one day you will i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to commence the osg's territory but the show must go on there we go that looks good pot's hanging okay now i need some coals for yep. the top that's the next step, because you want it to heat from the bottom and the top. Okay. Hot coals going on top. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Isn't probably good? Just move that other one. So I remember correctly, it was like 16 coals. Like, if you had actual coals. If you coals, had briquettes. I guess we can put a timer on for 20 minutes and see where we get it. Got you. Okay, just raise it up because the fire was getting a little too hot under it. So we're at our, our lowest notch there. And as that burns down, we'll just lower it. So I would say that's, uh, that's about a foot. About a foot off the fire. How do you like the Dutch oven for cooking stuff out here? Oh, I feel like it's a game changer. Yeah, it's definitely like one of those things. You could cook all your meals in that. So if you only wanted one pot. I think that's the one. That that would be the one. Mm -hmm. Like if you're going to get into truck camping and just camping in general, I would suggest getting one of these. And you can get the one with the legs or without the legs. You know, with the legs, you don't have to have this whole tripod thing. And you can... Just set it right on the coals, just scoop some coals to the side, set it on there. But what I have found with doing that is you almost have to have like two separate fires or a big distance because one side of the pot will get more heat than the other. And then you'll end up with like, you know, a couple burnt cinnamon rolls or one burnt trout. We actually cooked our trout in here last night and they turned out amazing. They did. Oh man, so. they tasted like, I mean, that. I was gonna say, it tastes like fresh salmon. It was. I mean, it was straight it's fresh literally salmon. Literally fresh Delicious. salmon. I've never used coals on top. Normally just use like briquettes. So this is full wild, wildfire style right here with the, uh, with the big pine coals. I don't know if they'll stay hot long enough. We'll see. And I can get my hand like two inches from them. Timers are going off. Timers are ready. So I can hold my hand over it pretty good now. So let's take this off. This is going to be extremely hot. So you'll want to use a tool or something to remove this. Ooh. Oh, don't those look delicious. But I would say yeah, they're needs, not quite. Needs a little bit more. Oh god, that smell. Mm -hmm. That smells amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna put some fresh coals on the top. And we'll hang this. The bottom looked like it was getting sizzly. Mm, well maybe raise it up a minute. 
I think that's good right there. Maybe put some more coals on top. Yep, I'm gonna take some of these. These are getting a little stale. So if you use like charcoal briquettes, they'll last longer. But that's another thing you have to carry to camp. We went pretty, pretty simplistic this trip. I mean, besides the opus, really didn't pack a whole lot of extras. All right, I like that. I'm gonna say another eight minutes, five to eight minutes. Okay. Sides. Definitely gotta have that bacon. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get some eggs, coffee. You need that coffee. Uh, show them how we're doing the eggs for this trip. Oh, okay. Well, this was your idea, but I used to have these glass jars for juice jars, and basically I just cracked. This held a whole ten eggs. So I cracked ten eggs, scrambled them up, and then used a um, little funnel and poured them in there. That's perfect because you. I mean, last time we did this, I think we put it in like a plastic milk jug, but it ended up being way too big. Mm -hmm. um, so this held ten eggs, and you're the you're you are the only one eating eggs this trip, because um, I'm not eating eggs, and Emmy doesn't like them. So that yeah, works out good. It's perfect for you. You know, you can re-clean it. It's not crazy. Mm -hmm. You don't need to get disgusting, and you already got your eggs, so you don't have to worry about cracking yeah, eggs and no mess. You know all that stuff. So, eggs, bacon, cinnamon rolls coming at you in the wilderness. All right, let's see how we did. All right, I need a checker. Brown, the outer oh, ones yeah, brown done. there. They're done? They're done. And there might be a little... A little I, I think it's the gluten. They look they look great. They look delicious. It's all that matters, right? No. It's <laughs> got to taste delicious. Okay. Well, here's the icing. It has already been pre-warmed. You ready for this? Oh, man. I do need a spatula to smooth this out. Yeah. How you, what's your plan here? Well, you just kind of I blob it on and then I'm going to smooth it out with a spatula. Okay. Yes. Ooh. Oh, you didn't make my eggs? Well, How dare I'm... you? How dare you? <laughs> Service. I can't believe this. I knew she'd come around. <laughs> Oh, did you tell them that I would make you some eggs? <laughs> I, was, I was totally joking. <laughs> I've actually been doing pretty good in the kitchen yeah. here this week. And I'm definitely on coffee duty after that first day. And actually, you've been on dish duty. I've maybe washed two dishes. It's been really nice. Don't get used to it. <laughs> this is a special camp thing. It is. Maybe I really like Camp camp Justin. See, camp LFG. I want, want you to go more. So I wash the dishes. And I, you know, I'm camp commander. Make sure everything's good, so you, you want to go again. Adventure leader. I'm with my sister. You are. Well, you're going to have to come out here. You're watching a movie in there. Where you're going to have to come out here and eat a cinnamon roll, I think. Mm -hmm. Or else I'm just going to have to eat them all. <gasps> Would you like a cinnamon roll? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> so we should probably pause that movie. All right, y'all, let's look and see how we did here. Cinnamon roll looks, looks really good. Let's take a look at the bottom. Oh. I think we did pretty good on the bottom. I think it's just right. I think it's just right. All right, let's get a family bite. I want one. Mm -hmm. Okay, Amy, mm. you want the first bite? Well, now the outside is going to be... What? What are you saying? Well, what are you saying right it, now? It might be a little tough. I don't, I, don't it, I don't think it looks tough at all. It looks awesome. Oh, man. Wow, mm. Amy just went on in there. They're a little more crumbly because they're gluten-free. Mm. Mm. I don't think we will cook them. Mm -mm. Oh, perfect. I think we just try it. Mm. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you guys gotta get a look on the inside. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's the juice. Okay, I want to go enjoy this with my coffee, my eggs, bacon. some bacon, the full outdoor cooking experience <laughs> out here. Mm. These are awesome. Good job, babe. Mm, thank you. Well, mm. it's kind of like a... This is the best you've done out here. I think so. I'm These are amazing. You, These couple, are like cooked at home. A couple of years of experience, you finally get it down. All right, we're going to go and do this. Then we're going to do some family foraging. Mm. Mm. Yay! All right, Amigo, what do you think of the cinnamon rolls? Thumbs up? <laughs> By the way, if you want to learn how to make OSG cinnamon rolls, cookbook, uh -huh. still available somewhere on mm -hmm. the internet, Amazon. Mm -hmm. We'll put a link down there. There you go. You're climbing. Watch out for those holes. Stay on the trail. You gotta earn your s'more for tonight. We got a, we got a boo boo on trail. Mm. Your mom. Okay. What'd you do? I don't know. Let me try to pick something. Ow! <sighs> okay. Let's get a piece of your bandana. A piece of it? Yeah. Just the tail end. Okay, hold that there. There we go. You fixed up. Does it feel better? Yep. First foraging thing of the trip. We got dandelion. So this is what Emmy thought of, which is brilliant. I don't even think I could think of this, but she, I gave her these paints yesterday to paint rocks and she's decided that she wants to bring it on our foraging trip and find different colored nature things for each color paint thing. That's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Oh, I got some dirty, uh, <laughs> um, dandelion right now. Sweet. <laughs> Tons of dandelions up here. You can actually eat these. So this is not my first edible forage. Tastes like a salad with no dressing. Supposedly full of vitamin A. I've got the uh, the leafy parts and the roots in my bag. So I'm gonna make a little salad, a little dandelion salad. Get some uh, big dose of vitamin A. All these pines are full of vitamin C in their nettles. I've never drank that before. I've always heard about it, I'm gonna give it a shot. That way. All right, oh, we're at 10,100 feet. Emmy, you you get your 10,000 foot badge. That's, that's something to be accomplished. Yeah, I mean, it's, I it's hard breath. to breathe up here. Yeah. <laughs> and you're hiking. We haven't had to carry you once. I'm doing good. Doing good, collecting things. Yeah. I'm looking for some mushrooms. I look for something blue. I found a strawberry. Found a wild strawberry? Yeah. You kidding me? I'm going crazy when I said, like, these look like strawberry plants. Well, you never, you never told me that. No, I think I was telling you. But, I mean, this is a dying one. It's shriveled up. It's a wild edible strawberry. Oh, my gosh. So, all these, like, little white flowers, because I've grown strawberries. I knew it wasn't crazy. Hey. Do I get my add herbology? Add it to the salad. My, my herbal, my, what do you call it? Uh, herbology badge? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But that's awesome. Wow. Man, imagine if we found, like, a big juicy one. Yeah. So we can make a legit salad out here. That's so good. That, that's nuts. Let me found the first mushroom. Wow, man. Good job. Do you need a knife? Yeah, break out your knife, Mom. Okay. Got it? Ooh. Oh, it has gills. I don't think you're supposed to eat those. Well, I wouldn't want to eat a wild mushroom anyways. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. You want to add that to the purple pile? Yep. Sorry. Wow. I brought my mushroom book with me. How cool is that? So if we see one that has pores or spikes, we can look it up. Okay. This makes me miss elk hunting really bad. 
This would be midday, filling up the, the canteens. Shout out to Born and Raised. I hope those guys are getting some bulls down right now. Wow. That's awesome. I'm impressed with our little hiker right now. Me too. I am too. We're going to turn her into a little OSG. We love to hike. This could turn south at any moment, but right now it's pretty good. Just chilling by the brook, soaking in the vibes. OSG has found uh, two mushrooms. I looked them up in my little mushroom book. Not edible. This is pretty interesting to me. I've, I've never mushroom hunted, but I could see myself getting into it, especially in conditions like this. Well, the reasons I love elk hunting is just walking around in the woods and getting to do this and explore is, um, well, I've never really explored because I'm always hunting elk. So definitely fun to just get on a trail, start looking around, foraging. OSG with another strawberry find. Look at that. Aw, juicy, huh? We're gonna put it right here in our red. You wanna look at it? Okay. I just heard like a, like a deep bellowing. Like a, mm, mm, mm. And it's, it's really not something I think an elk would do. And I don't have much experience around bears, so we're going to uh, going to bounce. There are moose up here too. I definitely do not want to run into a moose. So we're just gonna back out of here. And we'll head back to camp. honestly thought I was going to have to carry you down the mountain, but you showed resiliency after getting your boo-boo and kept going, and you showed perseverance. So I just wanted to let you know I'm proud of you, and you've earned your s'more for tonight. And a badge, if we have another badge say, I think we all for resiliency or something. the badge. That was a legit hike. That was. I'm so proud of this. This was fun. I think I had more fun on it than anybody else did. That is so cool. Look at Look that. Look at all the colors. It's amazing. Yeah. Strawberries in there. Got dandelions. All sorts of cool flowers. Vines. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms. It's poisonous. We're not going to eat that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, we got some wild edibles. So I'm going to go back and make a little, uh, little salad. And drink some pine tea. Yeah, I think if anybody is uh, wanting an idea for kids, this is definitely it. But I would do like a full 12 with a lid. So you can carry it around. Yeah, that way the wind pine won't get it. Yeah. That was just kind of on the fly. Don't eat pine tea. <laughs> you don't want to eat pine tea? You don't have to. <laughs> so I think the girls definitely win on the forage game. I wish she had an eye for those mushrooms. Didn't end up bringing any of those back because, you know, we are very far from any sort of medical attention. And uh, I don't want to put myself in that situation. Uh, plus, I didn't find any out of my book that I thought would be edible. So I did find some dandelions. Nice fat root on that guy. And uh, got the flowers as well. Which I've been just kind of munching on these like a couple a day. Just get some vitamin A. And right now I got a little uh, water that I'm boiling. And I've never tried this before. Wanted to do this for a while. Let's see what it's like. Um, this is white pine. And I'm going to take these nettles, kind of crunch them up, and stick them in there and make a little vitamin stew. Supposedly it's just chock full of vitamin C. And if you, uh, if you chew one, it has a bit of an orangey taste, like a bit of a zest, like if you're eating the peel. So there's that little bit of bitterness, but it's not terrible. And uh, do we have any honey in there, honey? See, put a little honey in there, make it sweet, sweet, sweeten it up. Just like you, sugar booger. Just like you, sugar doll. 
anyway, we'll see if it perks us up or not. And I've got a regular salad that I was just gonna try to throw some of these leaves in, but they're really dirty. I've never eaten eaten the root. I've eaten the uh, the leaves and the flowers before. Supposedly, in one one of these little books that I have, it says if you dry the dandelion root out and then you grind it up, it can be like a coffee substitute. So I'm assuming there's some stimulants in it, but I don't know. It might lead to diarrhea as well. well we don't have enough room in the tank for that. Nope, tank in the Opus is uh, just about full. We have uh, pretty much pushed the limits. All right, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take my little coffee pot, my espresso pot funnel, and I'm just gonna pour this into this cup. Straining out the leaves. Oh my God, that is hot. Did not think about that aspect of it. Wow, yeah. Slowly. Oof. Man, I need to like two mints right here. Oh, I got it, I got the solution. That blow there, oh yeah. Think smarter, not harder. Wow, it smells really good. I'm gonna take a sip without the honey, and then we'll take a little honey and froth that in there. You know what I'm saying? While we're waiting on that, I'm gonna try the dandelion root. Cause I've never tried it. Get some of this dirt crust off of here. It's kind of like peeling a carrot. I suppose. I really know. That's got a little pop on it. Tastes about like what you'd expect. Better. Supposedly great for your heart. A lot of medicinal benefits of the dandelion. And there are just thousands of them up here. Okay, it's a little strong. That's very strong. I prefer the uh, the flower much better. I'm gonna try the leaf. The leaf is not as bitter. And we'll just pop the flower off that guy. A little ranch, you can eat those all day. The flower is the best part. Well, it's very interesting. Okay, gotta live a little, guys. Gotta explore things. That was a pretty good little experiment. Now let's try the the tea. Whoop! Too hot. OSG and I just stumbled upon why our tea is cooling. <laughs> our chainmail. And our little hook, this was missing from our camp. And I, there's that, that daggum deer, what's her name, Deera? Mm -hmm. she, uh, she's she been in our camp every night. I guess she grabbed this thing. I guess it smelled good to her. She took it off along with the hook and it was like 20 yards over there. So, found it. That's a, probably the best forge of the day. <laughs> we found my chain link. Do you want to try some of this tea? I do, have you already, have you already I have made it? I have not, no, I'd love to get your okay. reactions. I think it's still very hot. Oh, I like hot tea. Yeah, I don't. I'm <laughs> not really a fan. I haven't put honey in it yet. Okay. Get you a little bit here. It's just. There you go. That's it? Yeah. Just get you a taste Ooh, first. It smells good. It smells great, right? These bees. That's not even hot, y'all. It's warm. What? <laughs> it's just warm. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. It is, uh, it's not bad. Mm -mm. I would drink that. I would definitely drink that. With a little yeah. bit of honey, that'd be great. A little bit of honey would be good. I don't even think you need it. So how much, um, how many pine needles did you put in there? Just one? <laughs> I don't know, like a hundred. Oh, did you like this? I broke them up. Okay. So I, I broke them up. You can definitely taste the, the... Pine, it, mm -hmm. 
Smells like pine salt. Are you sure it's like vitamin A? It's, I would imagine it'd be it's vitamin like, C. Okay, vitamin C. Vitamin A is the dandelion root, oh. which you can try if you'd like. Well, that makes sense because it's yellow. Vitamin A typically has orange or yellow color. Vitamin C, I could definitely taste the orangey, the zesty, the <sighs> citrus. Hey, you want some more? Yeah, I do. Thank you. It's got a little bit of color to it, but hey, we spent the day. Mm. The cinnamon roll started it off, kicked it off full of energy, did family foraging. That was, I think, my favorite part of the whole trip. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure <laughs> I how that way was going to go. Fun. <laughs> I didn't know if, if Amy would even make it. But yeah, she did. She the first had a blast. 10 minutes were a little questionable. <laughs> they were getting up the hill, but she, y'all, she climbed like 500 feet up the mountain. I was watching the elevation, so pretty good. And I think you had more fun foraging than you thought you were going to. I think I'm gonna do that for the next camp trip with kids. I'm gonna get a whole six or 12 egg container scavenger hunt. Oh, yeah, and by paint the way. them. And we've got, I'm gonna say, 90 percent of it. Well, oh, I've even added some back oh, here. Oh yeah, you've added some. So. Uh, kokanee salmon, saw hawk, saw osprey, groundhog, butterflies, uh, saw all that. And these are just things that we thought we would see up here that would make it really fun for Emmy. Mm -hmm. And we've crossed off most of the things. Didn't hear an elk bugle, did not see a brown trout, saw a cutthroat trout, saw, didn't see a moose. I think we heard a moose. I was gonna today. say, we probably heard a moose or bear or something big, whatever. Something it was. big. I think I a to moose get out of there. smelled us. Um, I don't think it was an elk because an elk would have just took, took took off through the woods. Um, I've been out in the woods a lot, and I've I've yet to hear a, like a bell, like a deep bellow like that. And I've always heard moose have like a weird like just deep bellow. So we just turned tail and got out of there. Our next camping trip, I think, is going to be amazing. It was full of scavenger hunts, family trip. Yep, it's going to be awesome. Baby Ben. I was going to say the next thing is to see if Baby Ben can hang. See if he can really next year hold up to the Rackley test. Mm -hmm. Well, cheers, honey. Cheers. I've had an awesome time. Another trip in the books. Another trip in the books. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching uh, our camping adventures. Let us know if you want to see more. We're going to do more local camping uh, in the winter time, and so I'll carry the cameras along with you. But I've had a blast up here, <laughs> and I hope you guys are breathing some of that fresh outdoor air, baby. It just it just fuels the soul. Love it so much. We'll see you guys on the next adventure.